Hello, Marcus Lim here with Norse Mythology Volume 3, so the third and last volume of the Norse Mythology hardcover series. So Volume 1 was right here, Volume 2 here, so this is the third and last. And this one collects, as with all the previous volumes, collects six issues. As you can see right here, the third arc. Of Norse mythology. I don't know why it says uh, two. It's supposed to be three, isn't it? Norse mythology three issues one to six, featuring art by P. Craig Russell and many others. Um, yeah, so let's have a quick look at this. So this is the third and last. And yeah, it features some of the. Um, yeah. I guess you could say more well-known ones, stories, including the final one, right, Ragnarok, which if you've seen Thor Ragnarok, you know, you'll be familiar with the name, although this is the actual Ragnarok from Norse mythology, okay? So, we'll take the jacket apart, okay? And yeah, I think it's the same design for all the three volumes, right? With like a hammer. So Norse Mythology Volume 3. And this one has, as you can tell, four stories. Hymir and Thor's Fishing Expedition, The Death of Boulder, The Last Days of Loki, and finally Ragnarok, Final Destiny of the Gods. Okay? Alright, so let's begin with the first story, Hymir and Thor's Fishing Expedition. <clears throat> so it's said Aegir was the greatest of the sea giants, and so what the gods wanted him to do was to um, make, make them a feast. But he says no, in order to do that he wants like this cauldron that only this other giant, Hymir, has. <clears throat> and so Thor went on like this fishing expedition with Hamir, right? And uh seems like they had a pretty good time, right? And at the end Thor says, please give me this cauldron but he says no, only if he can break this cup. And Thor actually did break it, see? <coughs> and yeah, well eventually he got the cauldron and um they had the feast that they wanted. <clears throat> All right, so second story, Death of Boulder. So Boulder is um, Thor's half-brother, right? If you are not aware, Thor's half-brother from another mom, okay? And Boulder, what uh, the mom, well, the mom and the dad, right, Odin, they kind of <clears throat> wanted to protect Boulder from enemies and so they the mom sort of got an off from fire, from water, to never ever hurt Boulder. So Boulder is pretty much invincible, except for one weakness, like an Achilles heel, which Loki knew about. So Loki was the one who um, <laughs> actually caused his death, okay, which was, uh, yeah, you know, pretty, uh, pretty sad. But you know, that's, I guess that's Loki. <coughs> but it actually sort of ties uh, in with the next story. So these stories are, even though they're standalone, they're sort of little links. So in the next story, we see the last days of Loki. <coughs> so Loki having killed Boulder, so now everyone is out to get him. <laughs> right? And so he turns himself into a fish in order to escape didn't really work because I think they caught him see caught him and there you go that's those are the last days of Loki right punishment for Loki even his son turned into a wolf and uh, and then he got wrapped around with the entrails of his others other uh, <clears throat> child it's pretty gross and then he's like trapped with this serpent's venom um, dripping onto his, his face. <laughs> that was his fate. Um, and then we get to the very last story, Ragnarok, which, you know, Final Destiny of the Gods, can think of it as sort of like the apocalypse, 
like the Norse version of the apocalypse, right? With the moon taken from our stars, disappearing, darkness filling the air, the end of the world stuff. But then we've got this battle with the between the gods, Loki returning, right? Escape from his prison from the last story from before. Yeah, and so this big battle, right? <coughs> we see um we see, yeah, Lo Loki's, uh, you know, the wolf sun also reappearing as well. And finally, a showdown between Loki and Hemdall. And then we get the final fate of all the gods, right? And a brief epilogue of what happens after. And that's it. That's the end. So here's some of the covers. Okay, the standard cover. Uh, number one for number one, variant cover for number one by David Mack, standard cover for number two by P. K. Russell, variant cover number two by David Mack, P. K. Russell number three, standard David Mack variant for number three, and then number four, P. K. Russell standard David Mack variant for P. K. Russell five, standard David Mack five variant, P. K. Russell six, standard, and David Mack six variant. And then finally, we've got sketchbook caught by the artist. Check the sketches, borders, sketches. Okay, border. All in watercolor sketch. It's pretty nice. And we've got pencil layouts, pen and ink style. Loki. Okay. Uh, work in progress. Um, and uh, yeah, more work in progress, I guess. Yeah, so we've got other cover sketches, original sketches. Yeah, so yeah, quite a few extras. So the Sea Giant, Echo, Character Study. Um, looking digitally. So looking at its process, digital process of, I guess, colouring. And that's it. So that's the last volume of Norse Mythology and this completes the collection, my collection, of the three volumes, okay, so Norse Mythology Volume 3, and yep, and that's the complete Norse Mythology stories adapted from New Gaiman's retelling of the Norse Mythology uh, stories as well. So there you have it, Norse Mythology Volume 3, hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in another video.